G'day, I'm here today just to give you a brief run through of the setup and the um, settings on this Trimble 3D Earthworks that is going to help you during your practical and theory assessment. Uh, just a short, just a short video. So, first thing all, once you fire your machine up and your monitor, you'll come to this screen here. Now, system status is the first thing we want to go into. This is where you're going to check all your sensors, your left and right receivers, uh, calibration and everything is working. You obviously want to see a green tick in each one of those areas. If, you, uh, if it's not working, I'll just quickly show you. It'll come up with an orange exclamation mark or red cross. That's where you need to do further investigation and check what's going on. But yeah, once you've done that, check all that for your green ticks. Go out of that. Next thing you want to do, machine setup. Now this is where we, our bucket attachments and everything come into it. So we select our bucket attachments on there. So if we were going to use, you know, if we're going to do some trenching, we want to use the GP600 bucket, we need to select that. Obviously if you're digging with your 600 bucket and you've still got it set on your mud bucket, well your alignments, depths, everything's like that, everything like that will be out. That is all calibrated when the setup is done to the machine. So yeah, make sure you select your correct bucket. And your dual GNS if you were to use UTS, but yeah, we won't go too much into that. So you, you need to select your dual GNS because we've got two GPS hats on the machine. So that's your dual GNN, GNSS. Okay, out of that. Next part, job setup. So you want to go into that. This is where we need to select our design. We've only got the one design and project on this machine, but if you were to get on a job, your machine would have been to certain jobs around the area. Now that could have up to, you know, 10, 20, 30 jobs on there and projects and design. So you need to select that correct design. Right ahead of that. Now we'll go into our main screen. Let's just hit start. This is your main screen here. Now from here, this will give you, you can scroll across, to select what um, screen setup you want, views, things like that. Two views you're gonna need to know and, and you will commonly use is your cross section and your plan view. Your plan view will show all your line work on there and just a picture of your machine. Um, this is a, the um, view you'll commonly use all the time, your cross section, which just simplifies it. Basically just a picture of your bucket and that green line is your finished surface. So that green line, as your job, you know, it'll show curb, batters, drains, profiles. You basically just follow that green line and you can't go wrong. But they're the two views you'll need to know, cross section and plan view. From there, you cut to fill heights. So there's two ways of monitoring that. You can use your number system down the bottom here or your light bar up, light bar up the side. So obviously, as I lift my bucket up, if we just stop there, that's cut 240 mil on your left side of your bucket and 250 on your right. Now, a lot of people, if you you know you get sick of watching those numbers, it's a good you can just sort of glance over and refer to your light your light bar. It's a bit more easy to read, so you're not having to read the numbers, but it's up to you. But they're the two the two ways you can read your RL levels. Now, reference point on your bucket. That red dot you see there is called your reference point. You can switch that by this button down the bottom from your left to your right to your center. Now the time you're going to want to shift that reference point, say if you're cutting a profile of a batter, um, if, you come, if you can imagine you come to the top of your batter and you've got your hinge point at the top, you'll obviously want that reference point on the left hand side of your bucket because you're right, if you've got that over on your right side, that will be past the top hinge point of your batter and that's going to be giving you a reading off the top of your batter. So, which will be false, obviously, because you still want to cut your profile of your batter. So that's where you'd want to shift your reference point. Um, another instance, maybe if you're cutting the invert of your drain with the right hand side of your bucket, obviously you want it reading from that point. So you just shift that to where you'd like. Um, our vertical offset, so if we wanted to say cut 100 mil below sub uh, finish level, we can just go into this here and minus 0.5. 100, hit OK. Now that'll set a line 100 mil below finish level for you. So that black dotted line you see there will be your finish level. Your green one is now 100 below. You can set that to whatever you like. Um, if you just hit it again, that'll go back to zero. Zooming in, all finger, just all touch screen, very easy to use. Um, 
Um, righto, we'll get out of that and go back to our home screen. back to our system status, just check everything's working again. Okay, we'll get out of that. Now that, that's pretty well what you're going to need to know and will be handy to use in the practical and your theory assessment. Um, on shutdown of the machine, turn off at the key. Now, fairly critical, just let the monitor and the machine shut down itself. If you just rush it, turn it off, turn your monitor off, you can, there is a chance of using calib uh, sorry, losing calibration settings and um, job setup, things like that. So just let it shut down, only takes a couple of minutes, and then turn your monitor off and un disconnect everything and away you go. So, so yeah, thanks for that. Um, just remember those few key features and um, setup, and that will help you with your practical and theory assessments.